Welcome back to the Goodwin Company Cabinet Shop. Now, recently we had a good client come and visit us, and she showed us photographs of a river-recovered heart cypress table that we sold her many years ago. She wanted us to produce shelves that would match the table. Immediately, the dining room table was recognized as what we call wormy cypress. And it's called wormy cypress because the live edges of it are covered in hundreds of thousands of cavities that suggest it's been eaten away by some sort of animal. Now, wormy cypress is all about an aesthetic, a rustic aesthetic. And just like pecky cypress, it's been enhanced and elevated by the natural environment. Pecky, on the one hand, has elliptical voids that are caused by the bacteria Sterium toxidi, while wormy cypress has been affected by shipworms. So, in fact, all of the cavities along the live edge of this slab were caused by a shipworm. But shipworms aren't really worms. They're a bivalve mollusk, a saltwater clam with a long, slender, soft, naked body. And they're in the family Pteridinidae. They're referred to as teredo, or even termites of the sea, because they're notorious for boring into wood. Well, shipworms and what they do in boring into wood can cause real problems, real economic problems. Christopher Columbus's fourth voyage to the New World was almost upset by shipworms who had bored into the bottom of his ships and threatened to sink them. In 1763, the British got so fed up with shipworms that they started to clad the bottoms of their wooden hulled ships with copper, and it was a pretty good success. In the Netherlands, the Dutch had to remove their wooden dikes that held the sea back and replace them with stone because they were eaten away by shipworms. Well, very simply put, the natural world is amazing. Shipworms are amazing. Wood-eating clams are amazing. In the Philippines, they're even turned into a delicacy called tamalock. Who knew that the termite of the sea could leave us with something so beautiful and elegant?